Guys, I'm still here in Cahara Old Graveyard in County Cork. And uh, while I was here, I said we could walk around and read some of these interesting old headstones here in the graveyard. So just as you walk inside the gate of the old graveyard here, we see that everybody who's buried in the graveyard here, all their names are accounted for. we we'll just read that little bit there. It says, the graveyard was most likely first used as a burial ground for an early monastic site, Blessed Mary de Cahara, which was located on the small hill to the north of the graveyard. The earliest known record from this monastic site dates to 1317, when it was under the patronage of the Coggan family. Over time, the graveyard gradually came into use by general population. There is a small section on the right when you enter via the main gate, which was used by the local president community, while the remainder of the graveyard served the Catholic population. The early surviving inscription dates from the 1700s and burials still occur today in existing family plots. There is a wide variety of grave markers in the graveyard, ranging from the large mausoleums and vaults used by the local land-owning families to the simple uninscribed stones that mark the graves of their tenants. So very interesting. Story there to read about the old graveyard here and as you come inside the gate, as I was just reading there, we can see in parts here we just have a mound with no headstones. And there's a lot of these in the area. And this would be the president section of the old graveyard here, where I'd imagine tenants were buried. And it's the president section inside the gate on the right and the rest of the graveyard is Catholic. So I'm just trying to see, is there any inscription on any of these stones I could read? And on this one here, it says, in memory of Richard Kingston, who died the 29th of December, 1898, age 72, years old so there's a number of graves here and the president section this is a beautiful headstone here with the, the flowers on it And all that orange lichen or lichen you'd call it. This is erected to the memory of Kate, beloved wife of Daniel Crowley, who died the 26th of March, 1909, aged 63. Also above Daniel Crowley, who died in 1932, maybe that looks like there. Some beautiful headstones. You see the figure of Jesus there on this one. So that's some of the president graves that are here in the graveyard as I was saying the section for president people and the rest is Catholic now just here as you enter the gate of the, the graveyard we have the Bettsborough mausoleum and there's some information on this mausoleum and I will add that to the video so we'll go over and we'll read the plaque that's over the door, but it's a beautiful looking 
1800s mausoleum with that old rusty iron door on it there. So just above the door it says in memory of it looks like Eliza Johnson Newman who departed this life April the 15th 1878 and you can just see above the door we have the name here Henry Newman Bettsborough Now I did have a look inside with the camera we have that Sue has the endoscopic scope. Endoscopic scope camera. We had a look inside and it seems to be the case that inside the mausoleum there's a lot of water has built up inside in the mausoleum. And you can just see at the bottom of the door here what I'm talking about. There's actually water coming back out through the little hole there on the door so a lot of a lot of water damage now I did try to look inside and it is hard to see anything in there so we'll continue on our walk around the old graveyard here and I just noticed this lovely Kelty cross here that says Loving memory of Michael J. Sullivan, White Plains, New York, died in August 1956. His sister Hannah is also buried there and other members of the family. So it's a really nice old graveyard, Celtic crosses and mausoleums. Now, I'll just go over and we'll look at this one here. This is a beautiful headstone. Sacred to the memory of John Crowley of Bally Oran, who died on November the 14th, 1896, aged 79 years old, erected by his loving wife, Anne. John Joseph Crowley, who died August the 28th, 1985. And we can just see on the, the headstone there, that beautiful sculpture that's on it. A woman mourning, it looks like, over, it could be an urn maybe or something like that. Like she's grieving. And I like these old crosses here also. It's these old iron rusty crosses. And it says on this, the buried place of Julia Duggan. Rest in peace, Tully Glass. Look at that for an old iron cross. Simple, but really beautiful. So as I was saying, just that section as you come in the gate will be the president section of the graveyard and the rest would be Catholic. So Seren Serenity Sue. He's on my walk today. So there's another beautiful headstone in the back, in the back here with a lovely photo on it of horses in loving memory of Tom McCarthy Leap, who died the 20th of February 1961, age 82, and his sons are buried here also, Johnny Thomas. Jimmy and Andy and his daughter Elizabeth who died in 1997 aged 76 
but there's a beautiful photograph on the headstone of horses in a field really nice now I do believe there's a photo on the back if I can get around here and show you there's also a photo of three horses a beautiful picture at the back of the headstone also look at that and I'm sure these were his horses are he loved maybe racing and horses and breeding horses maybe and stuff like that so the graveyard is kind of hard to get around in places and we see this one here and all that remains of the rail is this part here the old route iron railing there look at that and I'll try and get around and read this headstone if I can. I think it says on it there, Daniel McCarthy. And unfortunately, everything else seems to have faded away on this. So McCarthy would be a well-known name here in the area in County Cork also. Now I'm not sure, is this a vault? It looks like a vault that's here guys, it's just put together by all these slate and stone and stuff. And it's very, very old looking. And we can see that this big stone part here, slab, was left up against the entrance. So I'm sure that was just a headstone maybe I'm not sure but it doesn't look like it goes down very far so unusual but very nice as well very old and there's no dates or anything on that so I just noticed couple of interesting ones here you can see the old iron cross again now when they say on the board there as you come inside the gate to talk about some of these stone markers with no names or dates on them now these most likely could be tenants who lived and worked in the area who are buried in the graveyard here Now there is some notable people buried in the old graveyard here also. Well this is a more modern grave, but that's beautiful with the crucifixion there of Jesus. In loving memory of Patrick A. McCarthy, Bishop's Land, who died the 3rd of June 1969, and his wife Mary, who died in 1979. On the 28th of December. A lovely old headstone with a cross on it there. So this would be a new addition to the grave here. So I've just seen these like chest tombs and they're really interested to see these old ones and the name on this is Collins Patrick 1911 Cornelius 1916 Daniel 1956 Jeremiah 1933 Patrick 1937 Cornelius 1976 Hannah 1998 and there's a number of other Collins family members buried there also. It's an interesting looking old burial area there. And just beside the Collins one, there's another stone slab here also. 
and there's an inscription on the top of it William Coglin it looks like there his wife Nora and their son John and their also their daughter Mary it says on that so as you can see it's hard to get around the old graveyard here and there's tons of these mounds here burial mounds with no stone markers or nothing on them like that there you can see and you have to be very careful in the area there's a lot of holes and this one here now is unusual you have this headstone here like a stone slate and there's no inscriptions on it but just the other side of it then you have all that mound of clay and grass that lies up against it there now there's just a couple up around the area here we'll look at now this is another one of those old like chest tomb kind of look graves and it's covered in ivy and thorns and stuff and just another one there beside it Now there is lovely headstones here. I'm going to try and make my way in to read this beautiful headstone. You can just see Our Lady carved into it there. In memory of Dennis Sullivan, who died the 8th of March 1909. His children, Jeremiah, Julia, Mary, Mary who died in infancy. Patrick died in 1904, Dennis in 1906, William O'Sullivan, 1949, age 73, and so on. But it's a beautiful old headstone, and there's another one just on the same plot there as well. Daniel Sullivan, who died in 1903, age 70. There's some more of those grave sites there. Look at that, covered in ivy. And there seems to be a lot of these stone ones, isn't there? I like this one. Like they look the same, a lot of them. And uh, people do ask, you know, when I do these videos, are the people in the top section of the tomb there and they're not buried in the tomb they're buried well below ground now this one here is lovely all oh, this stick old railing around it and the headstone there and it's very high up all this mound isn't it you have all this here and blackberries <laughs> wild berries grown and you can eat them. And you can, black and red berries, and they're edible, so they can be eaten, all these berries here. Isn't it lovely to see all those old berries growing? The grave site. Uh, and I don't know if I can read the name on that, but I'll try. Now, it has faded a lot, also. And it's not possible to read, unfortunately. It has faded away. Now there's an old one here. It looks like... I'll just see, can I read? Now the face has gone off there, as you can see. And I'm sure that's Our Lady. On that, and her face is unfortunately broken away on that 
Well, it says Jeremiah or Sullivan, who died on the 16th of July, and the age is behind that ivy there. So it's not possible to see the, the year of his death. You can see all those old ones there again, the stone square ones. Now this one is very, very nice. A big iron cross, look at that. And there's a name on it up here. Harahan. Bartholomew died November the 6th, 1918. And Patrick died on June the 29th, 1969. Rest in peace, it says. And just down below, they've added a new marble. Part down here to the grave. Eugene. 1859 to 1934 and his wife Bridget Nee Collins of Glandor 1857 to 1934 and also Patrick who died in 1972 and his wife Ellen Maria who died in 1977 but it's a lovely cross isn't it? The wrought iron. The wrought iron cross yeah. Now very uneven there. Lovely. There's four headstones in this plot. Beautiful white stone on it. The Crowley family. And the first one there goes back to Michael Crowley who died in August 1882. And his wife Mary died also in 1882. Now that's very interesting. And when I do graves, I come across some interesting inscriptions on these headstones. And here's another example. So Michael Crowley died on the 17th of August, 1882, aged 84. And then his wife, Mary, died on the 16th of December, So four months after Michael passed away, Mary died just four months later in 1882 also. And I'm sure Mary died because we've, we've heard stories about that before where people die broken hearted after their loved ones. Now there's a, a very notable grave down here that I want to come and show you. The O'Neill family, and there's a bit of a connection to United States of America, and this one here. And here's the Celtic cross of the gravesite of the O'Neill family. So Captain O'Neill visited Cahara here in 1906 and commissioned this Celtic cross in memory of his parents who are buried here in Cahara Old Graveyard. Daniel Francis was born in Cahara in 1848 and left home at the age of 16, travelling and working in various locations before joining the police force in Chicago. He was appointed as Chief of Police there in 1901 and served in that office until 1905 when he retired from the force after 32 years in the police. He came from a musical family and began to collect Irish music and dance tunes while in the US and with the help of others recorded many thousands of melodies over the decades. His Music of Ireland, as it was known, publication in 1903, featured 1,850 Irish tunes and went on to be reissued under various titles over the years and is still highly regarded 
by traditional musicians. He subsequently published many other volumes of Irish music and dance tunes that he recorded for posterity. Captain O'Neill is buried in Chicago, but he is commemorated in the townland of Tralaban in Cahara by a life-size bronze memorial, bronze sorry, memorial of him depicted playing a flute. So that's the headstone here, the Celtic cross, and we'll read what it says on it, on the inscription erected by, and you can see there, Captain Daniel Francis O'Neill. Chicago, USA, to the memory of his parents, John O'Neill, who died in November 1867, aged 66 years old, and Catherine O'Mahony, who died January 1900, aged 88 years old. So there we have a beautiful Celtic cross that was erected there to commemorate the life of his parents and himself a captain in Chicago in the police force for 32 years. So there's more interest in history in this old graveyard here in County Cork. So um, we'll keep walking around and see can we find some more interest in history and that's just amazing to know that a man left here when he was only 16 years old to travel across the water to go to America and joined the police force and was also involved in the musical side of things as well and uh, and just being careful coming in around here look at this burial site here also like a chest tomb up on top of this old hill here isn't that beautiful the red brick very very old and uh, I don't know if there's an inscription on the top of that so I'm going to go around and have a look and there's a hillside here so I'm going to see can I hopefully read what it says on it now it is extremely hard to read unless I can see that in edit guys I will put text over this But you can see how high up this is from the ground. I'm up on the top of it here. So I'm trying to make my way back down as we go around the old graveyard. And here's a beautiful heart shaped plaque here, like mosaic style to it. Some very interesting old stones here in the graveyard mausoleums and lots of history so I'm going to make a way around and read some more So do some of these headstones go back as early as 1700? And we see one here erected to the memory of Michael Driscoll, who died September 1867. Also his father and mother, Daniel and Margaret, it says. And look at that writing inscription out there, very 
large letters on it stands out very well now another find here I just spotted is this headstone here in loving memory of Nicholas Sonny Keohan B Company 3rd Battalion 1st Cork Brigade Old IRA who died the 2nd of September 1983 aged 89 years old so he died very old he was old when he died but he was in the the Cork Brigade and the old IRA so there's more history and the connection to Irish history back in the day and the same namesake here the surname Nicholas the same name in loving memory of Nicholas his daughter Kate McCarthy it says USA also Patrick and his wife Ellen also Dennis and Sean it says on it now we have a a military grave here so see can I read the inscription we see the the anchor and this so we see he was involved in the Navy D Kyohan PO first and there's his number 211781 HMS Vivid 9th of February 1920 he died aged 39 years old a beautiful military grave and thank you for your service So guys, there's uh, another one or two maybe graves I want to show you in the old graveyard here and it's absolutely gorgeous and you can just see there in the background those beautiful hills and it's right in the middle of the old countryside rural area here, Caharan. Carcahara, I should say, County Cork. So I'm going to make my way back over this direction. And there's another one of those old crosses in memory of Mary. C E A N Y Saney, who died in March, and her son Jeremiah in April 1908. Just a simple old cross. Now, I believe just in there, amongst all those trees, you can see at the top of that there. There is a, a mausoleum or crypt, maybe I suppose you call it in there. We're going to go over and have a look at that. So I just found this on my travels and look at that. An old mausoleum and I'd say what's up the top of that there is a chest type tomb with the name maybe and the inscriptions on that and it's covered in ivy but just below that then you can see this old door here and those steps that lead down there so I'm going to see can I get a closer look inside this and I'll get back to you so I'm going to go down the steps here this old crypt and take a look inside and see what we can see. 
Now, I'm going to put the torch in here, guys, and see from closer inspection. Now, there is a couple of cobwebs there, so I need to clear. Now, if that could focus for me. Right there, guys, it seems to be like, um, I just try and focus it. Just there, guys, you can see at the back of the crypt, it looks like a small miniature sized statue. And it could be Our Lady. And you can see how the vault was built with all that brick on the roof of it there and they made a kind of an altar at the back of it. It's like blue bricks as well, is it? It's a dark colour, black and red colour bricks and look at the top of the roof there. All that, what would you call that? Grown on top of the ceiling there. So just down below then if I can see in there, all the coffins have broken away and there's nothing at all left inside the vault here so they wouldn't be lead coffins because they wouldn't have broken away like that but now who knows if that's pieces of bone there that's gathered in that side of the, the crypt and just down on this side here we can see more of that old coffins have broken away there also look at that we can actually see some form of a coffin there actually on the left, just there. I believe that could be a coffin. Oh, it's definitely a coffin. It's like there's white cloth there as well. It could be cloth there also, yeah. Very, very old. Now, if you go down the bottom of the door. Now, but that altar area is amazing there. And I don't know if I, if I can zoom in. Will it pick that up? If I can go in a bit closer. And it looks like it's a statue of Our Lady. Now it's inside another t like candle holder kind of an object. Just there, look at that. So guys, that's the old crypt. And I had a look inside and tried to get as best a view as I could inside. But as I was saying, up the top there is an old chest tomb and the person that's buried here and if i find anything online about it and find a grave maybe or something like that i'll add it into the video absolutely so that's the old crypt and how amazing is that that old rusty door and the steps going down to it there another great find right grave visitations so guys, I'll end the video here in Cahara Old Graveyard in County Cork. Very historical old graveyard here with lots of history and some stories. And these beautiful mausoleums. So until the next time, I'll see you all on the next adventure. Take care. God bless guys. See you soon.